Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. All right, I'll just close this and I'm into my to-do service.ts file. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, inject the HTTP client first into the constructor and to create an RxJS behavior subject. So to tell you quickly what is a behavior subject. So behavior subject holds the value that needs to be shared with the other components. So basically, let's say if we have this to do service loaded into our service to do service. And what if, if I want to share the data between the home component and the about component. So that's how the behavior subject helps us. As I mentioned, I have to create a behavior subject first. I'm going to keep it as a private. I'm going to call it as data store. And it is going to be a new behavior subject. And initially, uh, so this is kind of an initial value. So why not just create a constant over here? I'll call it init underscore data is equal to an empty array. Okay, the bad thing which I'm doing over here is I'm not creating any interfaces. We'll create that in future videos where we are going to refactor and improvise our existing app using a store method. That's a surprise. All right, so we have this data store. Then we have a public variable over here called data dollar, which is going to be an observable. Uh, I can pass a type over here, which is an observable of type array. All right. And which is equals to this dot data store and which is an observable. All right. Okay. For now, I'm just going to keep this as any. It's messing up with my type system. So I'm going to add a method over here to fetch the to-dos. So let's just call it as load to-dos. And we have to make an HTTP request. It's always a good idea to keep URL base path separate. So I'll just call it base URL. And let's make an HTTP request. So what I'm going to say is this dot HTTP client dot get so it will fetch this particular URL over here. I'll just call this as base URL slash. So I specifically want to do which is this thing and just append it over here. Then since uh, this is going to be a raw HTTP response, I have to convert that response into a readable JSON format, map the response to JSON. All right, once I have mapped the response to JSON, I'm, I have to subscribe since HTTP client returns you an observable. So I'm going to subscribe. Again, if you don't know what is subscribe, make sure to watch my video on async pipe. So once you subscribe, you receive a data. And once you have this data, we have to pass this data to our data store. And whoever subscribes to this data observable will receive that data. So the way you pass the data to data store is you just type this dot data store dot next. So we are pushing to the data store. So if you make another request, you again say data store dot next. All right, we are going to see that in next video. So just say data and just pushing this data. All right. So let's see how we can subscribe to this data. So our to-do service is done. I'm going to go open the home component, open the home component TypeScript file, and just going to remove this guy, little guy over here. Just pass the private service as our to-do service, to-dos, and I'm just going to call it as to-do service. All right. So initially, uh, at least to fetch the data, we had to make this call at least once. So I'm just going to do just that. To do's, this dot to do's dot load to do's, which makes the call using the HTTP and fetches the data. And now we have to subscribe to that observable, which is going to be, uh, I'm just going to call it as to do's observable. Uh, this is just a syntactic sugar and which is going to be equal to this dot 
to do's uh, I think I'll call this as to do service to keep it simple to do service to do service dot and now you can see uh, I get an access to a data observable over here and simply I'm going to use this observable inside the HTML of home component and I'll just uh, add another div over here which is going to be to do's I'm going to use an async pipe and just call it as JSON just to view it on the page as it is and let's just go back to our application home page and just open the console over here and go to the home page and you can see we are already making progress you can see we have done an HTTP request over here which is an XHR request now I have to share this data with the about component as well so what I'm going to do is open the about component TypeScript file all right and I'm going to do the same thing which I did with the home component so I'll just simply copy this line and paste it inside ng on in it we have to pass this private variable over here to do service as to do service also we have to create the observable of to do to do service dot data and open the about component HTML and paste it over here all right so as you can see you might be wondering why I am doing multiple requests ng on in it over here then again inside home component TypeScript file so I'll just explain you uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open about component TypeScript file and comment out this line all right let's go back to our application reload the about page you can see there is nothing we see the initial value which we passed just to confirm again uh, I'll just go back to the to-do service and I'll pass one two three all right and refresh the about route you can see one two three is listed over here but when I go to home route you can see the data is being loaded over here so home component ng in it makes this call to load to do service so load to do's then we receive this data since we have already received the data about has subscribed to the same data store and now if I visit the about route you can see we have the same data with us but what if the user lands on about page directly he doesn't see the data to fix this issue I'm going to uncomment this line inside about component and just save the page and just reload the browser and you can see we have the data now if I go to home page I have the data as well but if you look at the network tab we are making two different requests the reason for that is both the components are making the network call to load to this to refactor this what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this ng on init from both the components home component and as well as about component all right I just remove this guy implements ng on init just to be simple about component and home component has one parent that is app component so I'm going to make the call network call inside the constructor so inside the app component so I'm going to I'm just first going to load the private variable that is and over here either you can uh, call it inside the constructor it doesn't matter uh, maybe you can use ng on it as well but since app component is going to load only once it's fine you can make a call to the service inside constructor dot load to do's all right and let's check it out so I'm just going to refresh all right so we have data for the home component there is only one network request if I go to about route you can see we have the data as well and 
we haven't made any new network request. So we have successfully created a behavior subject service, which is shared across two components. Basically, we have shared it across our application. In the next video, we will like go further into the RxJS observable and I'm going to introduce you to RxJS store pattern. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like to my videos. Thank you.